Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to today's video, which is going to be episode number three of this Norwich career mode. Guys, if we can hit five likes on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. If it hasn't hit five likes yet, then make sure you absolutely smash that. It'd be absolutely amazing if we can hit that. So in the last video, we didn't really get off to a great start. Obviously playing our first home game of the season and not really going too well. Taking a very early exit in the cup, which I, I, I'm not really too disappointed obviously my main focus will be trying to get out of the championship into the premier league but i i expected to at least you know get my way through the cup and maybe you know challenge it for a little bit longer but the early uh, uh, the early exit could work out for us too potentially we could end up going uh like focusing more on the championship and more than the cup so it's always a good thing as well now guys getting back to the whole situation i'm kind of looking at the team and we do need a bit more of a bulkiness kind of in, in the side. It's on the right side, we're very weak. On the left, we potentially have a few players there that can back us up, can come into the team when needed. But on the right, it's a little bit of a struggle. And I am going to go and chase the Silva Lopez, mainly because he is the cheapest. Now, I'm trying to literally save as much money as I can because I do not want to be uh, over like spending that what, what I need to and De Silva seems like a player that it would really fit the team perfectly even if it was only on loan Lopez would still be a great player and we're also looking to chase a right back now I'm very uh, prominent on getting Arnia which is a very good uh, right back from uh, Hull I believe I just pronounced his name wrong Anya or something like that then we've got Tara Vest and then we've got Nissan uh, Christiansen who both all look really good, but I'm very interested on in getting uh, Anya because obviously she, he, as I said, she, he is involved in already the English league, so he mightn't get homesick as much as these two. Okay, so De Silva actually is just straight up not not up for sale. The team doesn't have enough depth in that position. Okay, right, so that's a little bit of a pickle. What we can do is what we can do is literally just wait for these to scout out a little bit more, see what the positions are like in that. I don't know if I want to chase uh, Blast because he's just, he's a little bit too pricey. Maybe if we can actually work on the right back and we can change up the formation maybe, but uh, De Silva is a no-go. They are not looking to sell him. Right, so we get into the second game of the league, a home game against Sunderland. Hopefully we can play a little bit better than what we played in the cup game against uh, Derby County, I believe. A 3-2 loss. Not the greatest start, as I just said. But let's get into this game. Hopefully we can get a positive result. Hopefully we can move forward, claim another three points and get closer to the top of the leaderboard. All right, let's do this, guys. Three points. All right, nice, nice control, nice control. I want, I want, actually, I want to control the ball a little bit better than I did in the last game. I felt like I was kind of pushed into play a lot more. I kind of want to take control of the ball. Okay, starting off nicely, getting a little bit of passing here and there, get a bit of possession. Oh, Martinez, what was that, Martinez? What is up with this striker? I signed you with great prospect, great potential growth, and you're, and things aren't just clicking for you. Oh, yes. No, why did you pass it to him? I wanted to go to Martinez. Oh. FIFA mechanics, I really do hate at times. <laughs> to hula hoop. Oh, man, that guy's huge. Who the hell is this? Kone. Man, he's massive. Oh, nice header, though. Nice header. This could potentially go on. No, leave it, leave it, leave it. Is it ours? No, it's theirs. Of course. Martinez, nice turn. Nice drag back. Martinez! Oh, great save there by the goalkeeper. Great shot for Martinez as well. Nice to see him trying to score a few goals. Oh, tried to get through that gap. I saw that gap. Martinez getting involved again. Nice turn. Shoots! Oh, great goal by Martinez! 1-0. And that is what I was 
hoping. And it, it did come true. Martinez finally, finally scores his first goal. Great shot. Unlucky to score, unlucky not to score there one earlier. Yet again, great turn. But yet again, a great turn just there. Lovely little ball there. I actually don't remember who got the assist. If we can see a replay of it, that would be absolutely amazing. So you can see it was, I believe, uh, Ver I can't actually pronounce his name. It begins with V. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a goal. Lovely assist and nice little turn and slot into the right corner. Absolutely beautiful goal. Block down. Look. Okay. Right. Perfect. Half time. 1 0 lead at half time. Not a bad uh, result. Really good half, actually, from our team. You could probably notice by all the highlights we're going to be having that there has been a lot of possession with us in the midfield and basically in the strike force. So that is absolutely amazing. That is great to see. If you compare it to the last game we played at home, it was pretty much Derby County on the counter attack every time, dominating us. And in this game, it's the complete opposite. We are dominating. Let's go out. Try maybe bag ourselves another one or two. It seems like that's the way it's going to go. But anyway, let's get into the second half. Oh, and that was a poor cross. <laughs> Tried to remain kind of like, not calm, but just, you know, commentary style. But I just couldn't. That was an absolute terrible cross. Tete with the shot! Oh! What a goal! Tete, what a shot! What a shot from outside the box! I can't, I'm lost for words on that. I was not expecting to score that at all. Great pass there from Pinto. Nice run on the wing. Slots again through ball to Tete. Tete sticks that into the bottom left hand corner. Did that get deflected? It did not. What a absolute belter from outside the box. 2 0. Oh, I was going to take a shot. <laughs> I was going to take a shot. There we go. The full-time whistle. A 2-0 victory at home. A great, great game. To prove the fans, you know, that we are capable of winning games. Capable of getting up into the league. And capable of taking them back to the Premier League. And, you know, putting a smile on their faces ever since that loss we had at uh, Derby County in the Cup. Uh, great performance there from Alexander Tede. Great performance there from Martinez, picking up his first goal as well. But without further ado, let's move on. Let's get back into the main menu and see what type of news will come up. Right, so game number two of this episode is going to be home again against QPR. Now, I actually cannot see how they're doing in the league, but since this is very close to the last game we played, we had to do a little bit of rotation and try and rest some of the wingers because my wingers, as I said... We are kind of slightly running out of people that can play on the wings. So it's kind of very difficult to pick a team. So we've kind of created this like kind of rotation squad. You can see it's called ROT, short for rotation. It's pretty much just there. So whenever we do come across, when we think we need to rest a few players, because you know the team that is kind of built with Norwich is very much um, center mids. Um, most of their players being able to play that position. So when it comes to rotation, I would definitely be playing uh, that formation. But when I have my um my wingers all fit and ready to go then you will see me play the one that can now play the right and left wing without further ado guys let's get into this game hopefully we can pick up another win that'll be absolutely massive boost confidence of the squad boost the fans as well and uh yeah let's get into it Right, guys, let's do it again. All right, nice ball across the field. Oh, that is a monster tackle right there. Reed could possibly pick up a card right here, unless the referee is feeling very nice today and not going to give him anything. Wow, no card given. Wow, I'm very surprised. That was a, that was a pretty dirty tackle. Nice step over to Martinez. Martinez with that nice spin he had in the last game. Yet again, nice spin working out again. Could go for a goal. He goes for a second goal. What a shot coming in the 12th minute. 
What a great strike. The confidence from the last game definitely had a boost on him and he just did the exact same as he did in the first game uh, of today's video. Great shot. Sticks it into the right corner again. Nice little turn right here. Steps it back and takes a shot. Beautiful shot and sticks into the right hand side of the net. 2-0. Not 2-0. 1-0. <laughs> oh, nice shimmy there. Pitchford goes for shot. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. I'm, I'm very much liking these shots. and I'm liking this pressure we are putting on uh, QPR today. Very nice shot. Unlucky Pitchford. Back post delivery. Oh, keeper's going to punch it away. Not very, uh, not much of a very confident save from the goalkeeper, but clears it anyway. Oh, nice cross ball. And that is going to be 1-1. One, one. The keeper, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Like, keepers are, are broken this year. I'm going to back him up and say keepers are broken, but... I expected a little bit better from him there. Uh, poor, poor, just poor positioning altogether. Uh, great attack from QPR. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss them on that. Nice little pass. Passes it again, and just like, oh, I don't know, the positioning and the diving was just the reaction time was terrible. Okay, right. Okay, back on the attack again. I'm liking this. Pitchard, what type of a pass was that? What well, doesn't matter. We pick it back up anyway. Pitchard with the shot. Whoa! I thought that was in. I thought that was it. <laughs> I was about to say, what a goal. Oh, so unlucky with the shot there. Why are you showing that highlight? It was a terrible goal. Pitcher just literally missed by, I say, not even about centimeters. Reed, okay, passed it all the way back out. Was not uh, wanting to pass it there. Oh, but nice little turn. Man, Norwich do love their turns. Oh, and deflected out for a corner. Nice ball to Martinez. Trying to get the shot off quickly. Oh, but Pinto's there for the steal. Off the post. Martinez. Is that Martinez? No, it's not Martinez. It is Olivier. And that is 2-1. Great goal there. Unlucky by Pinto. Playing very aggressive there. Getting up, up really pretty much into the striker role. And, you know, takes the ball. Hits off the post. And Olivier is just there for the finish. Great play. Great goal. And there we go. We have it halftime. 2-1. Question marks over that goalkeeper again. We're not seeing a great performance from him so far. Definitely some work and training needs to go into him. But a great start from Olivier scoring a, that crucial goal to give ourselves that little lead going in to the second half. Also great goal there from Martinez as well opening up the scoring sheet. And yeah, great performance overall. Goalkeeper still with that question mark. But we'll move on to the second half. And hopefully you know, we can uh, see it out and claim ourselves some uh, claim ourselves three points. Oh, nice ball there. Reed trying to come in and do something about it, but does something. I don't know if he got a deflection or if he got in there and got the tackle in, but the ball is now at Norwich. What can they do with it? Nice little pass there to Olivier. Down to Martinez. Now Martinez with that spin. Again, he loves doing that spin, but he's not going to He's not gonna go solo here. He's going to pick up Olivier. Olivier sh probably shouldn't have booted that. He probably should have kept possession and passed it around. Oh, still with, still with Martinez. Martinez! Sticks it into the right corner. I'm telling you guys, Martinez has a little fantasy going on here with the right side. Makes it 3-1. Gives us that space we needed to make sure we can guarantee ourselves. Three points. Great goal. Very unlucky with the defense there. As you can see, ball was kind of scrambled around there. Uh, I do believe it was uh, Pichier giving the nice pass in. As you can see, turns. Defender doesn't really do much about it. And slots it right into the right bottom corner. Very nice. And we will take that goal. All right, Martinez coming off. We just want to give him a little bit of a rest. Great performance there, scoring two goals. Pitchard is also coming off as well. We're going to have an Ashley Seal and a Lewis Thompson coming on for those two. Seems like this is probably going to be the last play right here. And then the final whistle should be up. Three minutes of added time. Can QPR add some little bit of drama? No, they cannot. It seems like this is probably going to be the last attack. Can we even score a fourth maybe? Oh, great defense there. And there is the final whistle. A 3-1 victory. Great performance there from our two strikers, being Martinez picking up two goals and Olivia picking up that one crucial goal. So without further ado, let's hop into the main menu and see if there's any news, any updates, and we shall join back to you uh, inside for the main menu. Now we come into the final game of this episode up against Aston Villa. We are away, so you guys know that we will be simming this game. Hopefully, you know, the team we have out today can do it. Martinez up front with, with Murphy, Hulahin. Watkins, Tete, uh, Vanitic, I, I can't pronounce his name, a uh, husband, close Frankie, and we're playing Lewis on the right, uh, as much as he is a youth and pretty much a player that is 
not going to start as much. Pinto does need to rest, so I am going to put out Lewis because he's not really going to get much time other than that. So without further ado, let's get into this sim game. Hopefully we can uh, expect a good result. Hopefully we can kind of keep a clean sheet. Dragowski not really having the greatest start, I'm going to say, in terms of his positioning. Um, what I see from him when we're in-game isn't the greatest. Hulahin picking up a very good goal in the 10th minute. Nice start. What well, exactly we need at the start of the season. It started the game as well, going into half time with a 1 1. McCormick picking up a penalty, but Hulahin straight away knocking door. But they knock back two minutes, like four minutes later, with Whelan with another goal. So it's 2 2 at the current moment. Exeter Pitchford coming on for Teddy. Thompson coming on for Lewis. Pitchford picks up a yellow card, and that is a 2 2 draw away. I will take that. That is not a bad result to get. Let's just see what kind of consequences that has on the league table as we stand. Let's have a look. And we are still sitting in second. Millsborough ahead. Probably on goal difference. But yet again, a very good start. And I will take that. I'll take away victory. Away draws are perfectly fine. Right, guys. So we've got our scout reports back for the two players that we are chasing. So we're looking at Anya here. He is 20 at 64 rated. I am very sorry about that. Is not necessarily going to cut it for a 20 year old for me. So I'm sadly, I'm going to remove you. And we are going to chase Nissan Christ. Christiansen, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and we are going to show some action, and we are going to approach to buy. That's right, you you admire my Hulahin, my Hulahin jersey. <laughs> right, so he is valued at 1.2 million. What we'll do is, since he is at that young age, and we are kind of looking at a right back to replace, what we'll do is we'll just hold the skip because that's it's just a load of talking and it's boring. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, we can go. We'll go, we'll go 1.4, and we'll see if they bite on that. We want to submit that offer. Okay, they accepted that offer, very nice. So all we got to do is really just go after his contract, and then that's pretty simple. That would be the whole transfer over, and that's a solid right-back sign for absolutely nothing. Right, so he is going to play a important role in the team he is because like he can obviously we can obviously try and make him play on the left back as much as like that's not his suited position it'd be a nice place to have him on that side that's great we're hoping for my clients very happy with the role you're offering him okay that's absolutely perfect now let's have a look at his wage okay the years hmm right how much do we want to i think we're going to go for a five year five year four year five year come on we'll go five year deal hopefully Hopefully he can accept on that. That would be pretty nice. A three-year deal. Mm. Okay, I'll meet you in between. Four years. We'll, we'll, meet, we'll meet in between. I'm pretty sure. Come on, you could bite on that. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought once, uh, once we kind of met in between. Um disregard a release clause. I do not want a release clause. Right, okay, that's yeah, I can I can accept that. I'll accept that. There we go. Welcome to the team. So guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Remember guys, if it hasn't reached five likes yet, make sure you absolutely smash that like button. I want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe and we shall see you inside for the next one. Bye-bye.